We begin tonight in Pottsville, which is about to enter a new era in the way the city fights fires. Newswatch 16's Carrie Kearns explains the merger between two longtime fire companies. History is being made in the city of Pottsville. For the first time ever, two of the city's oldest fire companies are consolidating. Both of our companies date back to 1829. Uh, we started as a Pottsville Fire Company, they started as the Schuylkill Hydraulians. Over the years, morphed into the companies that they are today. And now we're going to be merging the two companies together to form another new company that will better serve the citizens here. AJ Alves is the assistant fire chief at Humane Fire Company Number no. 1 on 3rd and Laurel Streets in the city. His family has been involved with Humane for decades. He tells me the Phoenix Fire Company Number no. 2, just a few blocks away, approached their department a few months ago to consolidate resources and manpower. After a company vote, we decided that this was going to be the best thing for our companies, our citizens, um, the future of both companies. This is all happening at a time when volunteer fire departments across the region are dealing with shrinking funds and volunteers. If the fire service is going to survive, especially the volunteer fire service, we need to be proactive uh, about how, how we go about doing our business. Mark Atkinson is the acting mayor of Pottsville. He's also been a volunteer firefighter with the Phoenix Fire Company since 1992. He's one of the many volunteers who come from generations of firefighters. I am a third generation firefighter. My, my son is a firefighter here at this firehouse as well. And, and my daughter, my youngest daughter is a junior firefighter. Phoenix will eventually close and its vintage ladder truck will be relocated to Humane's building, which will have to be modified to fit the truck. The modifications for the building, it's going to take some time. We have to work on acquiring funding for the project. It will be several months before everything is official. A new name will also be announced. It's an exciting time and, um, you know, both firehouses have been here for nearly 200 years and God willing, it'll be another 200. Carrie Kearns, Newswatch 16, Pottsville.